Hello, I'm Steffen Grübler. I'm a solution engineer working from uh, Germany, Frankfurt. And I'm going to uh, introduce you to a component which uh, I consider a hidden gem in our current uh, product, Investigate, which exists there for uh, a long time but was only available on a, the Windows console. And now it comes uh, into the TrueSight uh, console. So uh, this provides you additional uh, capabilities, uh, additional value also looking at agent, uh, at, at agent uh, data. So let me introduce to you to some of the uh, basics um, regarding what are the requirements, what are the metrics, where do you find the documentation, and how do you work. Um, basically in uh, the TrueSight uh, console um, before I hand over to Karen showing you also a, a study. Investigate is the component that works with agent-based data collection. So the agent collects many metrics, not just capacity and performance metrics, but also about the configuration. Um, normally this data is analyzed and uh, brought into the data warehouse and you can consume it through views and in a workspace. You, you create uh, reports. But this data um, is also available in the, um, on the agent, in a history, and also in a file structure that we call UDR um, data. Um, the ultimate requirement is if you want to show the capability to a customer to have the capacity agent installed, and ideally with the history data collection enabled. So in the screenshot on the left side, you see um, one of the screens in the installer process that allows you to enable the collection of historic, uh, historical data. And this uh, will um, give you um, the um, near real-time capabilities also are coming now in the um, TrueSight uh, console rather than waiting for a day or two before data comes in. So this will also allow you to see uh, really quickly uh, what, what the agent uh, collects um, after you install it. On the right-hand side, you see um, that the gateway server needs to be, um, uh, at least one, one gateway server needs to be installed because this is um, the proxy that uh, calls the individual agents and uh, streams the data to the TrueSight console. The default retention time in the history data repository um, is defined in three stages. For the first hour, we provide data and history in 10 seconds granularity. After that, this data is summarized into five minutes intervals, and it is kept in history for eight hours. And the second uh, summarization level is taking data of these five-minute intervals, create 15-minute uh, interval data for uh, 40 hours. So you can have a history of 49 hours um, data taken directly from the agent streamed to the TrueSight console. And this is very valuable if uh, you just install the agent, would like to see um, quickly data that, that came in the last uh, few hours. Or if you um, come in in the morning and you would like to see something that happened overnight rather than waiting for the next day before um, data usually is updated in the data warehouse. In order to work with uh, Investigate, you need to have either operator role assigned or planner role because the activity investigate section, um, either view or edit, uh, belongs to operator and planner. Let's talk about metrics. The term of the metric regarding the agent is different from what we understand as a metric in the data warehouse. Um, it gets translated, there is some calculation before it, uh, it's moved to the data warehouse. The metrics are the raw data collected by um, uh, and organized by metric groups, um, primarily for two different um, platforms, Unix or Linux, and Windows. So if you 
drill down to a Unix or Linux system, you see um, metric groups with different naming than if you drill down to a Windows system. The Universal Data Repository, or UDR for short, um, organizes these metrics in um, folders that are named um, by these metric groups. And you see all this in the documentation by individual uh, metric groups. So you can drill down there in the documentation. Once you have added the gateway server in the TrueSight console, you can see two types of systems. Um, either you created a manager run and you configure the ETL, which publishes the, the data warehouses with, with a new data. Or you have systems not included in an ETL, but you are able to look at both with uh, investigate. Um, the first managed systems, as we call it, are available. Um, this data is also available in the data repository on, on the gateway server. Or um, they are categorized as uncatalogued. So um, in this, for, for those systems, the, um, the gateway server will talk to the agent and stream data directly from the agent, rather than looking at the UDR data. When we turn to the um, TrueSight uh, console, to the TrueSight uh, UI and presentation server, you basically find um, a study organized in a way like uh, it is uh, shown in a, in, in a screenshot. And, and a study saves the definition of systems, the interval, um, the metric groups and filters you, you, you defined, and also the format, uh, whether you, you defined it as a table or, or as a chart. But we will see this uh, better in the demo, demo um, uh, that, that follows this presentation. So today, um, Investigate is only available on Windows. Um, less people found uh, this hidden gem um, and, and never used it. Um, now, with uh, um, Investigate being able in, in the TrueSight UI, um, it really provides you more data and better granularity that you will find in the data warehouse, which also helps you with uh, performance analysis. And sometimes we are faced with competitors really providing this uh, capability, having both historical and real-time data in a single UI. So um, this positions uh, us better um, even without true side operations um, uh, for, for just a pure capacity and performance and, and, and analysis better uh, against some of the competitors who does both. Well, let's move on to the life environment. Let's have a quick look at the uh, documentation. Um, I said that in the documentation you will find the metric groups and metrics organized by platform. So when you do drill downs, you're not sure what the individual metric means. Um, then, then you can navigate in the documentation. And uh, if you would like to see system statistics, you see all the metric definitions here. This is really the raw data that is collected every day. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it, it's a much richer um, data set that you will find uh, in the data warehouse. In the TrueSight administration section, in the TrueSight console, in the administration section, I mentioned the prerequisite is to have gateway servers added. Uh, once you click on one of the existing gateway servers, you can see the um, list of agents that are available, where UDR data is available, and these systems are part of the um, uh, daily um, uh, uh, management run. Or you are able to edit uncatalog systems here and provide this one system per line or IP address per line, then 
the data is streamed directly from, from those systems even if you have it included in an ETL run. In the TrueSight UI, you will find investigate on the capacity. From here, you have the opportunity to um, uh, look at predefined uh, study groups, uh, groups that are defined by other members, um, by other um, users, or you can create your own investigate study. And when creating a study, you have the choice between the data that's available on the gateway, these are the systems, and you see them filtered here. Or the uncatalogued systems, these are the systems where only real-time data is available. When you click one of the entries, you can then select a metric group, press apply, and real-time data is streamed to the uh, investigates uh, uh, UI. In this UI, and I don't want to explain uh, too much that Karen is uh, going to cover in, in the next presentation, but basically you have the opportunity to save this as a study here. You can also let this data being be actualized in every 10 seconds. So uh, when we enable the auto refresh here, um, just look at the timestamp. Um, it should uh, be updated uh, in a couple of uh, seconds. Yeah. You, you notice that um, every 10 seconds uh, this table will, will be updated. So you're able to really show also um, a chart with updated data um, later on, but Karen is going to cover this uh, when we're going to study.